What a mighty God that we serve who has brought us into this brand new day. My name is Akikumi Thomas. I pastored one of the parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God called Living Bread, Newcastle. And today we'll be looking at the open heavens as uttered by the general verse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboye. And a topic of consideration this morning is signs and symbols. A Bible passage is taken from Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 3. The verses also, with the Sadducees, came and tempting desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be fall weather today. For the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can design the face of the sky, but can you not design the signs of the times? A memory verse is taken from Matthew 16 verse 3. And in the morning, it will be fall weather today. For the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can design the face of the sky, but can you not design the signs of the times? Our reflections. All the warning signs are just upon us at this time to indicate that we are getting to the end of ages. Beside catastrophic events, what was unthinkable two decades ago are fast becoming the acceptable norm these days. Events such as flooding, intensive ruptures all over the place, ocean surges, and other very debilitating events tells us nothing other than the fact that we are going to end of life. All that these things tells us is the fact that iniquity is now abound, which confirms what the scripture says in Matthew 24, verse 4 to 12. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And we deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, seeing that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended. We'll betray one another and we hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Many signs can be seen with the physical eye. But as Pastor Adebo tells us today, some can be seen only with spiritual sight. Ask God to give you spiritual sight so that you can decipher signs and symbols of the times, as well as signs and symbols concerning the end of time. There are also signs that can point to the season you are experiencing in your life. Take advantage of these seasons. You need to recognize them or you will miss out. You need to recognize that, that nudging in your spirit, that prompting in your spirit, that voice you are hearing in your spirit. That's a sign that God is giving you. Most of the times you have ignored them, but God is a God of signs and symbols. Ensure that you, you follow these nudges in you. And as you follow them, you will never miss God. Our prayer point today is this. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me more than ever before in Jesus' name. And I tell you, the Holy Spirit will visit you every day of your life, will speak to you, will instruct you, and it will direct you the way you will go. And you will not miss the plan of God. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. See you again. Bye for now.